This is Brad from the ELC and today I'm going to show you how to export your course out of Canvas and then save that course to your OneDrive so that if you need to use the course in the future you can bring it back into Canvas. Web Services is going to start deleting courses that are two years old so going back to when we first started using in 2016 Web Services will be deleting those oldest courses in the near future. So you will need to export and save your courses just in case you need to use them in the future. So obviously the first thing you need to do is go into Canvas and pick a course. I'm going to use my sandbox. And over here on the left hand side, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Settings. And then over on the right hand side, you'll click Export Course Content. You can export two uh, types, the entire course or just the quizzes or tests in the course. Obviously, we want to export the whole course. So I'm going to Create Export. And depending on how much content you have in the course, it will either be very quick as this just was or may take a little bit longer, but usually it's not too bad. Up here, once you're finished, you'll see a new export and click here to download. If you have it set up to where it will ask you where you want to save it, then this will pop up in Chrome and Firefox. You have the option to automatically save it to your downloads folder, in which case it will just automatically begin the download. I'm going to choose downloads. And if you want to name the file something else, this will be the default name and it will be appended with this .imscc extension. It does have the course name in the title, so it might be just a, a good idea to just leave it as is. So I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. You can see that it came down right here. So I can go back and check my downloads folder. So I can see it right here. If I drag out to where we can see the whole title, you see Sandbox Course 02 for B. Hennigan Export dot IMSCC. Now, if I click on this, it's going to ask me what kind of app do you want to open it? This file is not openable anywhere but on Canvas. So you can't export it to your desktop, open it up, and look at your course. This is for archiving purposes so that when you're ready to use it again, you can import it into either an empty course shell or one of your sandboxes. So now, how do I make sure that this file stays with me, even if my computer gets switched out or something of that nature? The best thing to do is save it to your OneDrive. We all, as employees of Colin, have access to the OneDrive. It's connected to our email. So all you have to do is log into your Outlook 365. You can either go to colin.edu and log into Cougar Web to get to the link, or you can just go to portal.office.com and log in to your email. And once you're in, you can choose that OneDrive. And as you can see, I use my OneDrive quite a bit. It's really a good idea for you to get in the habit of using your OneDrive if you're not already. The great thing about OneDrive is it's cloud-based, so you can take your work with you anywhere. If you are used to saving your files on the H drive at Colin, the only problem with that is that you really can't access it off campus very easily. But you can always access your files in OneDrive. All you have to do is log into your email and go to OneDrive and the files that you have uploaded into OneDrive will be here. So to upload a file, you'll see over here on the left hand side, upload and click that. You're going to have a choice of files or folder. We're just going to do one file. It'll bring up a normal Windows File Explorer window. That course is right here. I'm just going to click it and click open. And it will tell me over here that it's uploading. And of course, that didn't take very long. And then I can see Sandbox Course 02 for B. Hennigan. And new uploads will have this tiny little recently added icon to it. So when you're scrolling through to make sure that it uploaded, look for that little thing and you'll be able to confirm. 
So that's it for exporting your course and saving it to OneDrive. And as always, if you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to call the ELC or shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to help. Have a good day.